Wow, PvP is dying? I wonder why. Who could possibly know that? Bro, I'm so sick of this fucking moth, man. I'm so sick of him. I think I've been like, I think there's like three. I thought I, I killed these fucking things and now they're back again. Anyway. Next topic is an interesting one because, uh, well, PvP. Where have they all gone? What's going on? Turns out we can take a look at things. Now, the PvP community uh, do feel uh, a little bit... Uh, PvP has really been abandoned. It was a good run. That was from Magnus. Magnus is one of the best warriors in the world. A little bit raw right now. It, it does seem that uh, maybe Plunderstorm is uh, not what they uh, sort of wanted for their traditional PvP. Of course, it's, um, not, it's not PvP. It's, yeah. it's not WoW. It, it is it's not WoW PvP. It's like, not WoW. If, if you're playing WoW PvP, like Plunderstorm isn't going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to just do this instead. WoW PvP. Yeah, that's what it is. It's so Jover. It's Jover? It's completely Jover. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I... There are certain genres of people as a Pepe's that just the, the most perfect. That's just way fun, of man. Yeah. Yeah. Online, like so, we do have some statistics so we can take a look at here, which is fun. Every number is zero. It's all dead. Yep. So these are season one, two, and three. Damn. Or, uh, wow. Yeah. Right. So what we're looking at here Jesus. is a chart of games per week. Okay, for the top 5,000 players, uh, I assume that's just because that's what the leaderboard tracks? Yeah, uh -huh. I, we definitely are a little bit held I've... held back by having no data from Blizzard outside of... Uh, yeah, I wonder things, why that which is. Obviously so, like. we have here Season 2 and Season 3. I do think it's kind of interesting that Season 3 is actually peaking way above... Se the thing is that... The reason why I think a lot of this happens is that while PvP is completely unapproachable... Like, why would you, like, let's say you're a young buck, 17, good at video games, sharp, your parents are okay with you sitting at home all day playing video games, you might not even go to college, you're probably just going to be a neat. And so what do you want to put 10,000 hours into? Do you want to put 10,000 hours into a game that the people that are older than your parents play? Or do you want to put 10,000 hours into a game like Valorant that has tons of e-girls, tons of Discord kittens, you can get way more viewers on Twitch, you can actually have a competitive career? Like, why would anybody invest any time into WoW PvP? Because it has the least payoff of any competitive game. That's the reality. So there's no new blood coming into the game. And, and that's not even talking about how hard the game is to play. We're not even getting into that. I'm talking about, like, just what are the incentives? There's a lot of hot bitches that play League. There's not as many that play WoW. That's just the way it is. Season 2. And this is, again, 3 And the hot girls that play WoW are usually playing, ra they're pr probably raiding. Probably raiding. There's a few girls that play PvP. It's not like there's none of them. But there's not as many as League. And if you're a 19-year-old dude, that matters. Three. So you can see that red line there at about week eight. However, it uh, is appearing it to really dip off a little bit. Yeah, PvP is dead, but it looks like on average there's more PvP than played in Season 3 anyway, so... <laughs> Maybe depends. Yeah. On well, season three is yeah. a stronger time for the game. What That's we true, saw, yeah. you know, our Mythic Plus numbers are mm -hmm. up. You can see that at least for a bit, PvP numbers, mm -hmm. uh, you know, PvP numbers were up. What we can do is look at solo shuffle lobbies uh, per week. Ooh. Uh, sort of roughly assuming that a lobby it's is so six rounds. Now, uh, kind of interesting. So you got what, say, uh, sixty-nine thousand nine hundred and twenty-two. Uh, I wonder how long they had this data shuffle, for. And we're looking at numbers at more like forty-four thousand. Some of our peaks for the three v threes. So you can really see that solo shuffle. Um, you know, it's it's played more than three v three, and I suppose that makes sense because it's of solo course it queue. Is. Now, season three is uh, definitely having a worse time for solo shuffle than it was having. Yeah. Uh, with um, yeah, with uh, with three v three. These numbers That's because people can't get queues. People don't want to sit in a 45 minute queue to play a game with some moron that just line of sights himself and then he just dies and he says, where's the heels? Why would somebody want to waste their fucking time doing that?
are not completely cratered, not completely dead. They're, you know, they are sort of near each other. But again, look at the y-axis. You are looking at 20,000 lobbies per tick yeah. in the y-axis, which is quite a lot of gameplay. So e even more recently there, we're 22,145 yeah. versus 36,872. That is a large uh, large difference, but yeah. could Plunderstorm, I don't know, maybe Plunderstorm yeah, is that, not that, that, that down. Yeah, that, that week is Plunderstorm as far yeah. as that far more, because we're, okay, we're, so we're in week 20, right? Yeah. So yeah, that was, yeah okay. Yeah. So nineteen is thunderstorm week. Which means if they want to have this shit, if they want to get WoW PvP back on track, they have to. Uh, in my opinion, I think they should make a separate mode for the game that's totally different than the base game, like Plunderstorm, because like there's just too many variables in the game. It it there's just too many. It's completely unapproachable. You have to you have to have a reset. That so before that, you something. can see, yeah, before that, you, I mean, you do see a bit of a dip. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know that one thing that hasn't happened is rating inflation, Yeah, which is how you get people yeah. rewards, so, I suppose. So I think the, 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 the thing to say here is these numbers are very small compared to M+. Plus. They are. Very small. Very small. And see, all well, of we, we like, should, these We should say what some of the numbers are so people understand how big the gap is i feel like back in like vanilla bc and wrath it felt like pvp was 50 percent of the game and then kata missa pandaria and like wad it felt like pvp was like 30 percent of the game in legion it felt like it was like 20 percent in bfa it was like 10 and like i feel like after that it's just hovering around that 10 percent why they move away from it I'm going to be honest. It's not their fault. Other games provided a better PvP experience, and most people that were looking for a PvP experience went to those games, like League. There was a massive exodus in Cataclysm of WoW players that quit WoW to play League. Because, like, I was really into PvP back then. Like, how do you know that? I got DDoSed a lot. Uh, so I, I used to know everybody. Because I would be a flag carrier for RBGs. And in the process of that, I remember whenever a league popped off and people were like saying, like, yeah, this is my last season. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit playing. I'm going to try to go pro in league or be serious about league and go into that. Yeah. So a solo shuffle is... Mm -hmm. uh, how many people is it? Six. I... <laughs> I do. Yeah, remember. it's two v twos. Yeah, it's two v twos. Yeah, how many? How many people are in the lobby? There's six. Is it? This is want, PvP so yeah, outside yeah, of our yeah. I wanna, chat. I want to say chat. Nine. We we need your aid. <laughs> I want to say nine. Please help. Is it eight or nine? Oh, yeah, it's three v threes. Yeah. It's yeah. Three, how so how many teams of three? Have. I'm sure someone will say uh, in chat before long. Three v yeah two v yeah. So many people in the lobby. Then I think it's nine. Is it nine or twelve? Yeah, stream Brandy buff is actually extremely real. It's yeah, it's it's a, it's a potent real. thing because what what we can yeah, do because you're thinking about fifty different things. Somebody goes and says player hit an age where they couldn't keep playing the game. In my opinion, look at Zico and Vin Rookie. They're like fucking thirty year old men. No, it's not age. It's incentives. Like age plays a factor. It absolutely plays a factor. But I think people dramatically overestimate what that factor is. The reality is that the reason why people aren't playing WoW PvP doesn't have to do with age. It has to do with incentive. Yep. We can kind of work out how nine, many. Yeah, yeah, nine, yeah. yeah okay, that's what nine. I think. So with Mythic Plus, we are dealing with weekly numbers that are mm -hmm. in and around what? Uh, mm. Yes. Stream brain. Yeah, straight bread. I uh, let me check the video yeah. we published yesterday. Yes, that has those numbers yes. very conveniently. Uh, so, okay, now where the hell, where the hell are the numbers in the video? Um, if I get six, six people, yeah, six. Why do I think nine? Yeah, I am overestimating how much shuffling is actually done. Obviously, six makes more sense if it's shuffling around, so everyone plays with each other. Um, yeah. I can be good at math or PvP, not both. How about neither? That's my choice. 
That's my I used to be good at math, and then I didn't look at any numbers, and I started to think in. What's the like, number they're trying to figure out? Words instead, and it's been a horrible experience for my usefulness. Um, but I'm better at communicating, so who knows? I don't even know what they're trying to talk about. Yeah. Because I feel like even if you kind of go, well, there's, you know, if that's a lobby, there's 120,000 people, but then, you know, how many people? Oh, that? So that, yeah, that would be 120,000. Yeah, because it would be, well, it would actually be a little bit more than that. It would be 132,000, but yeah. Do you do you have 10, 15, you know, 20 lobbies? As opposed so to let, let's else? just compare, right? Let's compare week 16. Week 16. Okay, so week um, 16, we had, uh, what season is that? What season is that? Week 16, we had about a million. About a million keystones ran. Each keystone, five people. Jesus. So 200,000 people. <laughs> That's well, not represents... that's not empirical whatsoever because yeah, obviously yeah. Uh, multiple runs behind. You know, so it's, yeah. that, that's how many people though. So a million runs and there's mm -hmm. five people within a run. Whereas I don't I here, think the amount of people matters. I think it's literally just there's a million keys versus twenty thousand lobbies. That's a, those are different yeah, numbers. You know, it's, it's those, five those are, a million fucking keys. That is crazy. Well, here's the reason why is that you have to multiply the solo shuffle by three. Because in the time that it would take a lot of people to do two Mythic Plus keys, solo shuffle players have to wait in queue. So if the queues are 40 minutes, and they can do keys in 20 minutes, so then really you should multiply this number by three. Six Numbers people like, within each one. Yeah. So basically queue, what, what this is saying is awful. that even, say, solo shuffle... Uh, or, you know, 3v3 yeah. or solo pretty good shuffle, queues? they are both... Yeah, threes, I don't like, know. what's that, week 16, 20k? Yeah, and also, how like long games here, how long does a solo shuffle lobby last? Uh, how long is a piece of string? <laughs> dampening, my man. Depends on dampening. Man, we are the guys with the answer. Yeah, so it's probably like 20 dampening. minutes, I, mean, I say. Yeah, 20, it's like a 3v... Yeah. Okay, yeah. take just a plain-ass 3v3. Yeah, I, I haven't yeah. done a lot of it, I mean, it, that so. could be over... How, like, you could get many of those done yeah. within the space of one dungeon, which eh, makes these no. numbers... You can get a few no. done. No, you could get... Like two or three. Dep depends on the game. Depends if it's quick. I mean, okay, okay fair. <laughs> well, see that? No, that's the top. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. the top five thousand where a solo shuffle is just l lobby. So I think the solo shuffle number is the better one uh, for yeah, comparison. Of course, of course. Well, that's what we're looking at here. So that's uh, 19, 18, yeah. So twenty eight k. But the point is versus still, a million. Yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I wasn't trying to like dig in like what's the specific numbers here. It's literally one of these is a bigger number than the other by mm -hmm. a factor of adding two zero or you know adding zero and a bit. It is like five times, four times bigger. So you, okay, well clearly there you go. But that's a scuffed kind of. Oh, Blizzard um, gave up on PvP. They did. They gave up on it, and I think that they made the right call to give up on it. I think it's not a game mode that's ever going to grow. Uh, it's impossible for them to balance. Because, like, there's just too many variables. Too many people want to play PvP in too many different ways to balance across, like, every metric. Like, in League of Legends, for example, every single game is killing the Nexus, right? Like, I've never, I've literally never played League of Legends. But every single game is killing the Nexus, right? Yes. Every game is killing the Nexus. So, in WoW, you have three different uh, meta-level competitive PvP things. You have Arena, you have Capture the Flag, and you have Base Control. And like the two of them are RBGs. So you have to balance three completely different modes of gameplay to have some level of parity at the same time that you can change the inputs that you have for gear as many times as you want if something is good, like a really good trinket or something like that. So you have all these extra variables. It's too much. It's impossible for them to get it right. I mean, League doesn't even get it right. That's why they're redoing balancing all the time. Like the whole thing is this is scuffed, right? The whole problem with PvP is that this is... Season 2 wasn't even good either. This is still yeah. an unbelievably unsupported game mode. But we're yeah. getting to the point where it's not actually... They're not actually solving any problems. I love mm -hmm. this. So I, I just went to uh, to Google PvP runs per week Shadowlands. And the top post is a Reddit post saying Mythic Plus runs per week. Uh -huh. That uh, doesn't bode well. Is there anything on Drustvar? So... 
Well, it's, it's like, and you think about it, what PVE game provides the experience that Mythic Plus provides? Because I'm trying to think about it, I don't really feel like there's any other game that provides a very high-level, competitive, PVE, cooperative experience like Mythic Plus. And you crash last week? Yeah, they don't. So, like, Mythic Plus is the best at delivering that experience. Whereas for PvP, there are a lot of other games that are better at delivering that experience. So that's the difference. Like, WoW is the best whenever you're talking about things like Mythic Plus. It's not the best whenever you're talking about PvP. No so why would people play search it? engines are useless completely awful useless every single sir every single way that search is implemented and i'm assuming this has happened at some fuckwit asshole somewhere in the you know the fang place or like search i've revolutionized search to be so much more efficient and so much better and we can do it in like so like such a smaller old time so so much more efficient to search all data everything is a fuzzy search yes. you cannot search for anything exact anymore so we just live in a, in fuzzy times, man. Yeah, you want to you want to search fuzzy times. for a tweet from a person from time ago? No, fuck you. No. You want to find a quote on Google? No. Sorry, we've disabled that functionality. We thought you having access what? to information wasn't actually the real point of the internet anymore. Is that true? No, no, it's just we play thought, ads. We thought we thought surfacing AI generated slop into your eyeballs was the point of Is the internet. It? Now. Too much info, yes. really? Damn. <sighs> Sorry. Yes. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, maybe AI we'll have to... AI generated ESO articles. We'll have, to, we'll have yeah. to do that differently. But anyway, the point is, PvP is really in a dire state. The thing that Blizzard could do, though, to fix up a lot of this is our... Because there's a whole side of PvP that's not covered they here. They can't fix it. They'll never fix it. It's dead. It's dead. That's it. Now, they can prevent it from dying as quick as it would naturally. So this is a managed decline. At best. Which is Battlegrounds. It's on life support, also yeah. Also, the, what's it called? Battleground Blitz? Blitz, yes. Battleground Blitz, which is the test for mm -hmm. rated uh, solo queue BGs. None of that is actually captured in the data. Yeah, now, so, it's not massively well rewarded. Yeah, like we're kind so. of flying blind, but the point isn't so much about the fact that participation is dwindling because the numbers don't really matter when you just see everyone who does PvP being online going, where are my improvements to PvP? Mm. Where's my game mode attention, please? Plunderstorm, that's cool. That's not World of Warcraft PvP. Please give me World of Warcraft PvP, please. Obviously, we're getting a... It's always the same people asking for it, too. And that's the problem. Yeah, go play a PvP game. Exactly. Like, you're never going to have a game that's not focused on PvP that has good, balanced PvP that people give a shit about. Every successful PvP game that's good is a PvP game first and foremost. That's what it is. Like League, Valorant, Smite, uh, Dota, Counter Strike, Fortnite. They're all PvE, PvP games and focused around that. Like a new battleground in the War Within. Rust. And yep. They're testing the solo battleground stuff. But Fighting games. Yeah. Solo queue battleground, I should say, not solo. That's what they're all a about. Bit pointless. We've done a one v one in in Arathi Basin. Sounds good to me. Um, so yeah, I feel like. It's just a case of almost ain't running with the vein of like the season four being kind of undercooked a little bit. Which you know what Blizzard should do? They should make it to where you queue up for Arena and it just puts you in Plunderstorm. Just put it out of its misery. And it's like, wait, what the fuck? I'm in Plund... Wait, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Like, oh my God. Like, and that's, and that's it. Yeah, no more Arena. It's dead. It's done. I haven't really talked about too much. It's over. And people have been like, where's my stuff? Where's my game? Where's my content? And it does boil down to, sorry, PvP is very on the back burner. Nobody and cares. It, it's frustrating people because they want minor fixes. They want minor changes. Yeah, right now it seems like yeah. even just some of the MMR 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, not MMR that, story that's, rating. That's most of the problem. Yeah, people yeah. are like, I would like this queue to work. I would like this queue to function so I can play people who I can play against. Somebody was saying like uh, PvP was popular in, in Kata and Mob. I feel like PvP was falling off at that point. Like I feel like PvP was at its peak at like late Wrath, early Kata. And then it kind of went downhill after that. And the reason why is that like obviously you need a big player base of a game to care about PvP. And I think another big reason is that the game isn't watchable by spectators. Like, you can watch Classic WoW PvP, and you can generally know what's going on. You can't watch Retail WoW PvP and know what's going on. And I think the reason why MOP was popular is still, like, WoW was still kind of at a high, so you had, like, general player competency that was pretty high. But nowadays, like, the game has changed and evolved so much that unless you're actively keeping up with it, you won't be able to appreciate and understand plays that are being made. Like, you can see the health bar going down, but you don't really know what that means. And it'd be a fine, fair, reasonable match. Yes. So it's like, Sorry, it's even in the same sense of, like, yeah. people talking about the end of season mm-hmm. versus frag. It's like, they're probably right in the long term to yeah. be so like almost singularly focused on the big cool things and the next thing you think it's the move the needle but at the same time there's an element of everyone going why have i been left to rot yeah if there's the k you can't let it go uh go on for mm-hmm. for too much time no oh, you easily can they can they can not give a fuck about it for a while mop was peak uh the balance wasn't perfect the classes had good kits yeah but the reason for that, like, I mean, you're never going to have a game that has the level of complexity that Mr. Pandaria had that is going to have a growing player base. It was just too complicated. It might not be complicated for everybody in here because you're sitting here at four in the fucking morning watching a video about a video game. So, like, obviously to us, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I think that Razer as a company owes a tremendous amount of its success due to the fact that Mr. Pandaria needed so many fucking keybinds that everybody had to buy a Razer Naga or win one from Swifty. I genuinely think that made a tangible, genuine impact in their entire company. Ah, uh, it's just too much, man. Like, and I think that like PvP and WoW, like retail PvP, we're talking about retail PvP. And like really anything in the game, like there's just too many barriers to entry for an average person to get into it and to think that it's going to be anything less than a waste of time. That's really the truth. And I think that's really the problem too, is that the game feels like such a waste of fucking time. Why are you going to do this whenever you could be doing literally anything else?